In this video, we are going to look at all of the differentiation rules that you'll need in an IB maths exam. Now in your exam, you will get given all of these formulas here. So in this video, I'm going to go through a few examples of each of these so you're crystal clear when you get to your exam paper. Okay, so we will get given a function and it will either be y or fx. So if we have y equals, and let's say, x to the power of 4 plus 2x cubed minus 4x squared plus 7x minus 2. So this is just a function, it's a polynomial function, so we have x to the powers of numbers, and if they're all added to each other or, or subtracted to each other, we can just derive using this first rule here. It's the power rule, it means that we bring the power down and we subtract one from the power. So if I were to write the derivative, y dash, I can bring the power down, 4x cubed, I would bring the power down, 6x, this would become squared, minus 8x plus, and if we derive a constant in front of our x, so 7x, it just becomes 7, and a constant derives to 0. So this will be our derivative. Okay, for our second one, if we have, let's say, fx is equal to x squared minus 3 on x. Now this looks a little bit trickier, but it is actually still using the power rule because I can rewrite my function before I derive it as x squared minus 3, and this will be x to the negative 1. That's using my indice law. I know if I have x on the bottom, that's x to the 1. So on the top line, it will be x to the negative 1. And then if I want to derive that, I will get 2x, and then the negative 1 will come down and multiply by the negative 3 to become positive 3, and I'll need to reduce the power by 1. So now it's negative 2. And I can simplify my answer here. This will be 2x plus the 3 over and x squared. Okay. And I'll do one more for the simple rule. fx, if I have root x and I want to derive that, well, I can write this as x to the power of a half using my indice rules. And if I want to derive that, I'll bring the half down. The x will now have a power of negative a half. And if you are strong with your indice laws, you know that x to the negative a half will be the same as x to the positive a half on the bottom line, on the denominator. And therefore, I can write it as 1 on 2 root x. Okay, so that's three examples for the first rule. Now, if we have a sine or a cos function, a trig function here, we can derive these. So it says in the formula that sine x, the derivative of sine x becomes cos x. And if we have a question, y is equal to, let's say, sine of 2x, and we want to derive that, the derivative of sine goes to cos, but we also need to factor in the derivative of what's inside the bracket. Now what's inside the bracket here is a 2, and the derivative of that goes out the front of our derivative. So it'll be 2, and then cos, and the bracket stays the same. So this is the rule when we are deriving a trig function. So if I had fx is equal to, and let's say 3 cos 2x plus 1, if I want to derive that, I will have f dash x. Now cos, have a look at our rule, it derives to negative sine. So this will turn into a negative sine function. The derivative of what's inside the bracket is a 2, and that will come out and multiply by the 3 at the front. So it'll be negative 6 sine, and the bracket stays the same, 2x plus 1. Okay, so that's an example for sine and cos. The derivative of tan, that's not asked uh, very frequently, uh, but there is the formula here, the derivative of tan x is 1 on cos squared x. And the way we can do that, you may see in your textbook or you may watch a video where the derivative of tan x is just actually a quotient rule where you're deriving sine x over cos x, and that's how you get this answer here. Okay, I want to derive some exponential functions. 
So if I have fx is equal to e, and let's say to the 2x, and I want to derive that, I need to use a rule. And the rule for deriving exponential functions is we take the derivative of the power, which in this case will be 2, and that comes at the front, and the rest stays the same. We don't reduce any power by 1 or what we did in the first rule, it's just e to the 2x. So a second example would be if I had e to the x squared minus 3, and I wanted to derive that, y dash would be the derivative of the power would be 2x, and that comes at the front. So it would be 2x e to the x squared minus 3. Okay, so that's what the uh, derivative of the e to the x rule is. If we want to derive uh, log functions, natural log functions, if we have y equals, and I'll use the example ln of 2x plus 1. Okay, if I want to derive this, the derivative of a log function, an ln function, is the derivative of the bracket, what's inside the bracket, which will be 2, that's on the numerator, and the bracket goes on the denominator. So whatever's inside the bracket, take the derivative, and that's on top, and the bracket goes on the bottom. Okay, and that is the ln rule. And the final three rules are the chain rule, product rule, and quotient rule. So I'll do some examples of those. So we use the chain rule when we have a function that looks like this, y is equal to, and we're going to have some bracket, for example, 2x plus 1 to the power of 5. If we need to derive a bracket to a power, we need to use the chain rule. And the chain rule says that we we, we get our chain and we, we lasso it up and grab this power and bring it down. So 5, the bracket stays the same, 2x plus 1. We close the bracket, we reduce the power by 1, so this will become 4. And we multiply our answer by the derivative of what's inside the bracket. So the derivative of 2x plus 1 is 2, so y dash will be equal to the 2 and the 5 can multiply as our coefficients, so 10 at the front of 2x plus 1 to the 4. Okay, so that's the chain rule, and we use that when we have a bracket to a power. The product rule, product rule is a bit of a complicated looking rule, but it's actually not too scary if you have a sequence or a system to do it. So if you have y is equal to, and let's say 2x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 2, we use the product rule when we want to derive the product of two functions, which is why they have when y is uh, u times v, and it's the product of two different things that have x's in them, we need to use the product rule. So let's define the first term as u and the second term as v. We then like to go u equals 2x plus 1. We want to find the derivative of u, so u dash, this will be 2. Then we do v equals the second term, x minus 2, and v dash, which will be 1. And then the derivative, using the product rule, says that it is u times v dash. So it's going to be u times v dash, so it'll be 1 times 2x plus 1. So it's going to be 1 at the front of 2x plus 1. And then we need to add v times u dash. So it'll be our inside terms. It'll be v times u dash, so 2 at the front of x minus 2. So we get 2x plus 1 plus 2x minus 4. And therefore, our derivative will be 4x minus 3. Okay, so we use the product rule when we have two brackets. And finally, the quotient rule. If we have y is equal to 3x minus 2 over, let's say, x plus 5. We use the quotient rule when we have a division of two functions, u on v. 
and we want to let the numerator equal u and v. So similar to the product rule, we're going to say u is 3x minus 2, u dash is 3, v is equal to x plus 5, and v dash is equal to 1. And the product rule says the derivative is actually v u dash minus u v dash. And the way I like to remember that is just inside minus outside. So y dash will be our inside terms minus our outside terms. And it's all over, and our formula, it's all over v squared. Okay, and we can simplify the numerator here. It'll be 3x plus 15, and then minus 3x, and minus 2 uh, times, sorry, negative 1 will be plus 2. We have to be careful for the minus and the minus with these types of questions. Over x plus 5, all squared, and therefore our derivative will be, the 3x's will cancel out, we will have 17 over x plus 5 squared. Okay, well done if you managed to get to the end of that video. That was all of the deriving rules that we'll need uh, in our IB math exams. So I recommend you practice these in a few of your differentiation questions. Good luck.